one product which can actually help you i mean it can support giving uh, some energy efficiency to the building uh, which we are actually not aware i mean silicon is generally used in the facade for majorly glazing and cladding application but i mean if you look at the western culture uh, countries right now uh, silicon sealants actually act as an it can save your energy uh, uh, i mean it can make the building uh, energy efficient and uh, i mean the uh, it can also help you in terms of uh, try to avoid the air passing through the windows and uh, there are a lot of gaps which which are uh, quite invisible with the a lot of times in very minute and invisible with the naked eye so that is something that we miss out so it can actually help them make the building uh, energy efficient secondly we normally talk about a lot of time about the green building i mean there are a lot of products and uh, it's very unfortunate that uh, there are different types of chemistries uh, globally for uh, making silicon sealants but uh, uh, in terms of the uh, voc and the right green building product uh, i i see that Can here I, in sorry, india i want to stop here when you mentioned green i'm, I'm just asking what is green yeah it, it's, it's what do you mean by uh, environment green? friendly friendly product basically i mean so green, green means environment friendly product exactly so okay. so there there are there are lot of lot of uh, product, products it's it's more to do with the uh, environment friendly and more of energy efficient products what so what we term uh, the environment friendly I, i don't understand when we when we say environment friendly it has See, to be part of the environment basically what when we you look in. when you look at the chemist chemistry of the product when the silicon is actually manufactured i mean there are different different chemistry some certain sil silicon sealants could be hazardous or uh, it can not not be specific to the envi friendly to the environment uh, it has a higher voc content uh, so th that is one reason that uh, i mean it those products are not green building qualified in fact so th that is one reason that we we have a proper products certain products in the western countries are uh, banned if you look at the certain chemistries for example there are two chemistry alkoxy and oxide uh, when we talk about the weather sealing application there are two chemistries which are actually available uh, uh, right now uh, one talks about the alkoxy chemistry and second talks about the oxime chemistry both are neutral sealants okay there is an oxime chemistry which would uh, emit uh, hazardous chemicals with, which is called methyl ethyl ketoxine gas which can be actually hazardous to the health of the person who is doing the application or possibly the person who is actually but is it been used yes definitely in india right now most of the products and people are not even aware that uh, we are not using the right kind of silicon sealant even for those applications okay as as a company what is the initiative you all have taken see basically see basically i mean all the hazardous uh, the oxime sealants are globally banned right now and uh, and when when i look at india i mean we are India, Malaysia, Bangladesh, and there are certain certain other countries. We are still promoting those oxygen sealants in the market. So, it's, are we become a dumping ground? It's 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 we are actually becoming like a dumping ground. In fact, and uh, these sealants can actually cause lung cancer. I, no one can actually think of it. It's like a slow poison. In fact. Yes. So. And uh, you know, <laughs> end of the day, what we live in is a hazardous world. and india as a dumping ground yes no but 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 there there are alternate and good what products. what there, yes there. and your vendor is supporting you whole heartedly Sel selvam giving you hazardous materials no selvam but there there are Sorry. there are there are products available which we are not actually considering for usage there are products which are alkoxy products which are the right product to be used for the facade and glazing which are not hazardous at all and these are globally specified products as per the ASTM and the EOTA standards so ideally we should be using those right products for the for the market okay. in fact good cool uh, i have a plaque card so now <laughs> hazardous material not understanding about any systems or any codes of practice best practices okay we listed some common problems now i have to rush through this question before i conclude uh the next question i would like to ask is morning we spoke about uh, uh thermal efficiency of the systems and uh, india yes uh, uh, mr cron was showing a beautiful slide where we have a, a good uh, uh, topography of uh, climate and uh, we are still struggling with the basic system i believe thermal systems are used uh, in countries like middle east where the temperature is very high or vice versa in europe where the climate condition is adverse with cold uh, but for india is it really essential at this juncture first we do not have basics second 
thermal systems, you know, when you talk about thermal brake system and all, is it really required at this juncture for us? Yes, but uh, you see, it again depends on city to city uh, in our country. Now, if you look at uh, Bangalore, I don't think this is a city that really requires a thermally efficient system, right? Because the variation in temperature between summer and winter is, uh, you know, nine months of the year, you almost have similar temperature. But if you look at any other city, whether it's, uh, uh, again, you come to Chennai or come to Delhi, now these are two cities that would really require that because your outside temperature in Delhi is, uh, you know, winters and summers are extreme. And then in Chennai, you have, you have a constant temperature which is there throughout the year and you need to keep that internally at 22 degrees. So when you're sitting outside at 38 to 40 and the variation is so large, it would be very efficient here. So you're saying it, it is required but only on selected places around the country. Good, thanks. Plus uh, I would say that we could use spaces between the glass as PVC spaces instead of aluminum. That can reduce the heat. Okay, but transfer. it's only to the selected zones. Yes, Sahar, you're saying something. Yeah, I think uh, what uh, both my co-panelists said, it has to be contextual. So, you know, whether it is Bangalore or whether it is Delhi, the design has to change and thermal efficiency is required whether it is Europe or US or India, it is the same. Whether we use a thermal brake is a different question because typically it's used in cold climates. But as per thermal efficiency is concerned, that is one of the prime requirements of a facade. You know, when we look at facade, we look at the human comfort value which is daylight, you know, his own thermal comfort and other than that is the energy efficiency which is coming out of the thermal efficiency. Okay, so we can be selective and I believe the panel suggestion is valid. Depends on region wise, choosing the better system is a good practice. Uh, last question which is to the glass manufacturer. Uh, specifically, because this is something again touch based, go back to the fire. Uh, I have been uh, reading article, later I will uh, share some videos, I, today I did not order to do the presentation, but today really I am in a very good mood to take some decision from here. I will show the videos and explain what I am trying to ask him now. Between two buildings, a building without glass, a building with glass. Which is better for fire evacuation? Which is safer for fire evacuation? Yeah. Uh, number one, I think you you would have read all those articles which have come in uh, Mumbai. Okay. Uh, please put okay. them pleasant articles. So, don't, don't worry. So I'll answer your question. Okay. Number one, you, you take a glass building or you take a fully concrete building with some uh, windows in that. Okay, when there is a fire, what, what's happening in, 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 in that situation? It can go up to 1000 degrees inside, whether, whether it is a electrical uh, related fire or whatever it may be with the, the wood and all. Now, what will happen now? People are stuck inside. What will happen? There is a smoke. You have a fully concrete building which is available. You have uh, pockets of uh, uh, windows. Now you have a glass glass building. Now anything which we said it's not a fireproof glass building. I <laughs> I understand. So there is there is no. So with these glasses, any of these glasses which are in the facade above the 200 degrees uh, thing, it'll it'll start breaking. Now where this this the smoke, I think most of the deaths happen in, in, a, in a fire uh, accident is because of inhaling of, of the smoke. Number one, it's easy to let out this smoke in a glass building. Number two, for any fire brigade which is coming, it's, he has to just break the glass. He doesn't need to hit the wall with so much of uh, force to, to, to evacuate uh, the people. That is the second. Uh, we, 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 he'll be able to see where the fire, fire is through through that thing, and then able to do that. Now, where are these accidents happening to the fire brigade which is coming? It's it's you have heat strengthen panels when you are breaking; those panes are uh, trying to hit them. I think the recent case. I think Dubai has come out with a fire code recently. I think last month or last last month. When they did the studies, 
most of these fires which are propagating is also uh, because no, glass is a non-combustible material. Okay, it's, it's, uh, this is propagating through the ACP. So they said that, okay, watch, this is ACP can be a combustible uh, uh, material. But then what they have uh, done is that in the code they said you can have, you can have this uh, as you, the rescue uh, flows, two, three uh, ways of doing it. One is the rescue thing, then, then one floor they, they keep it uh, with this one. And then in whichever way they are doing, they said that for a, for a guy, it's, it's for the fire brigade, not for the people inside to open and come out and all those things. It's not the openable panels. For the fire brigade, they said that if there is a laminated panels, it becomes difficult and all. You need to have a definite marking in the facade itself, uh, and which needs to be uh, uh, explained to the architect also. In the facade, you are going to have this this marking, definite marking with the fireproof glass where the fire brigade, by looking at it itself, he should know that, okay, I have to break in here rather than, which is inside also done with the fire. The people, uh, the fire brigade will be able to go easily and then evacuate the people. So in my view, when you compare the, the, the uh, a typical a concrete building with punch windows or whatever it may be, and a glass building, definitely in a fire situation, a glass building is any day better than the, the concrete. So having a building with a proper glass marked will save a lot of life. Good, you know, the, the panel was a little bit scrambling. I believe uh, the questions were posted faster because that's the time allowed. But I believe we have to draw a good conclusion. So first I touch base back on the fire codes. I, yeah, finally, yes. before I go, I just like to share this video to you all. I've been showing this video since I started this. Yes, I, I would like to dedicate this to the loved ones who lost their life due to our negligence. I don't take any, <coughs> it is a disclaimer which has to be there. I show you one video first. Today I am serious, I want a solution. This is a building in Kasak. You have a look at this building. This is a building in Thailand. a building in Korea. Sorry, I, I can't translate. This is a recent one in uh, UAE. Uh, the video is shot upside down, so you have to look at it that way. What? 
if you hear what they say, how quick. So I stop here. All this, what you see, is not more than two minutes. When the fire was lit, it's not more than two minutes. The sad part of it is, today, we are using this material in every building we do here. Most of the building, I can say. Maybe some special case buildings, client was well aware, they have been told. But unfortunately, this is what we are building today. Uh, so, Selvam, to uh, support one, one, one just one yes. comment I wanted to add before, I mean, uh, we actually get it closer. We normally talk about the fire, uh, fire uh, we normally talk about the fireproof buildings and fire resistance, in fact. There is one aspect that we are actually missing on right now, it's about the air blast and the bomb blast. There is an AST regulation about uh, F1642, which clearly talks about the air blast and the bomb blast and the impact of the blast, which can actually impact the person who is sitting inside and how it can actually shatter the glasses and hit the person. This is something which uh, I mean, I, I have already attended three I, or four I, seminars so far. I think India needs another 911. But, but that, that's what this is something that uh, I mean, if you actually go to the US regulation, lot of buildings are not talking about the air blast and bomb blast for the embassy, hospitals and the hotel projects. Yes. So this is something that we have actually, I mean, we have still not been talking about so far in the last four session. In fact, I, and this is something that I wanted, uh, I mean, the people to actually think about it possibly because eight years, ten years from hence, we'll be talking the same thing. Sir, and the idea today is to start the basics. I believe we are now touching base on the higher level. Yes, we have to look at it, but today we don't even have the basics done. So today to have what you saw there, it's a combustible material. All the fire incidents happen with ACP. Okay? Most of the time you see all these fires, they have been littered through ACP and gone. So today what I have done, I brought in an expert who is sitting there. I want him to advise how it can be changed. Yes, if we could pass the mic to Mr. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Soman Sundaram here. See, basically, uh, what Selma was sharing was 100% right because ACP is basically aluminum composite panel, and the fire behavior or fire retardancy of ACP totally depends on the core which is used to laminate the aluminum sheets, aluminum coils rather. Currently, the major majority of the projects which have been cladded in India is with LDPE core, whether it is 100% virgin or recycled, but still it is LDPE, that is polymer, which is combustible. However, the same can be changed or addressed by using a better core, which we call, or rather which has been prescribed or suggested by NFPA 285, it is not by any ACP manufacturer per se, but it specifies that 70% of the core which is used as uh, to laminate this ACP should be non-combustible mineral filled core and 30% can be polymer. However, the same has been changed to 7129 because the glue which is used to laminate, used for lamination, also is a polymer which accounts to 1%. So 70%, 71% of the core should be 100% non-combustible core. Which, is, which should not be misinterpreted or which should not be uh, used for an advantage of any ACP manufacturer, but this is what NFPA suggests. And if it is used, if the core used that way, this is what is the test, which is a practical test which happens in case of a fire, a two-story building, physical structure with ACP, with this sort of, sort of a core, and you can see in the second picture, it is practically put on fire. And third one, you can see propagation of the fire here. Can you go to the next? And see how it happens. It is very much similar to the fire videos what Selvam has shown you now. However, if you go to the next slide, since the core which has been used here is 70% non-combustible and 30% polymer, this is what happens to damage to the ACP here. That is, basically, the core should not be propagating the fire. It should retard the fire. That's why FR ACP, it is not fire rated. 
I would suggest like it should be called fire retardant ACP. Basically here core should be retarding the fire and once the source of fire is extinguished, the fire should stop. It should not get propagated. This is what NFPA 285, very uh, and why I'm referring to NFPA 285 is this is the one standard which also prescribes the test how it has to be done and how the core has to be formulated. No other standard goes to so deep here. Not even ASTM E119. ASTM E119 is for the entire wall system, not for individual component here. Whereas this one is specifically for only ACP. This is a major difference between the other standards and this particular standard. Good. I, I believe uh, what Shamashundar has explained is the product. So, what I would like to uh, uh, recommend uh, to the panel or uh, to uh, the association. First, we spoke about fire. So, why I have taken only ACP as a material? Because Narayan said glass is non combustible, sealant is non combustible, aluminum, yes, it is when the heat develops. So, this is the only component which is just starting to go into the system in a big way. I believe if we change this to a fire retardant, we increase the safety, we increase uh, 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 the life of the building. If we all agree, I believe uh, you can pass on the recommendation today to say yes, future buildings we would like to insist upon uh, to have a fire retardant ACP as a first step. Do we agree? Yes. Sir, can we? Thank you. Second, I touch base on uh, fire evacuation. Uh, we have to take another step forward to explain to the uh, person who has written this code uh, or maybe misled by somebody else. I believe the team have to work together to explain to that single person how a fire evacuation can be done through facades properly by designating uh, proper glass as recommended by Narin. So, can we have a fire tempered, I mean a tempered glass with then fire evacuation stickers done in the building as a, a proper? Yeah, we can do that, but then we need to meet. I think along with the association, I am ready. Uh, we need to meet the chief fire officers in different uh, important cities. Major cities immediately we need to meet uh, because the perception is different. The perception is different. So, uh, we need to explain. They are not, uh, uh, they are willing to meet. They are willing to meet and I would request uh, uh, IFFA uh, so that we can join. Uh, yes, and go uh, and meet uh, I believe we can um, uh, uh, go for, yes. Okay. Actually, uh, we were having the same type of opinion because, you know, Bombay recently fire happened and the fire officer is, you know, saying a lot of things which you, which you must have already observed. So, the first thing is that all the gla glass manufacturers like the company like you should take the initiative and definitely we are there to help you. They are ready to, to meet. That, in fact, last week we met him and he is ready to meet. Yeah. He said that uh, in the next two weeks you can come along with the, the installation companies, everybody yeah. and then uh, tell what is the exact uh, uh, way you wanted uh, it to be. So, uh, uh, we can take the appointment and uh, he is also ready to meet uh, because the, the present uh, uh, chief fire officer I think will get retired in uh, this month or something like that. So, before that we the should deputy, designate the president. The deputy will be uh, uh, there Correct, no? and next Matthew one year there will be no chief fire officer. Yes, sir, yes, yes, if it is tempered, I think it should be a heat soaked. It should be compulsorily heat soaked. Yeah. That, uh, glass, that particular glass. <laughs> I, I don't want to go to that uh, section. It's a big section for me to go eat. So, uh, now, yes, first let us do tempering. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. And uh, last but not least, uh, uh, it will go to a good friend uh, uh, for sealant. Uh, can you will be able to give us a complete uh, documentation of the best quotes, just for the basics? Okay. You spoke about hazardous material. Tell us what is the right material we have to use for right, right. application. Definitely. I mean, uh, we, we have the, possibly I have the comparison and uh, what are, basically we have done a lot of third party testing as well, internal as well as external testing. And uh, we have actually come up with a, some paper that we, we know that what are the right products to be used for the right application and uh, what are the innovative products that we can actually offer for those applications which can make the system more sustainable in long term, in fact. 
So uh, 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 by the by, you know, like whoever is presenting something, don't present your company. Rather, we want no, uh, that, a specification. That's what I'm saying. See, this uh, going to I, be. I have the code, then I have the third party testing. Possibly, see, this third party Please. testing are majorly product driven. So, I mean, definitely, whatever I can give, I can give you, you in in respect with the, my company. I mean, so definitely, I'll support you with uh, these activities which are required. Good. Thanks. At least, I believe we have taken uh, three topics today, bit by bit. I believe this is the only way we can do. So, the three key things we have taken in this section and. Uh, more or less have uh, summed it up uh, what we have to do. Now we have to put this into action. We will, we will start uh, uh, documenting it and move forward from here. Uh, I would like to take uh, Mr. Mr. Sandeep Chaudhary, uh, who is there, uh, to conclude this section by giving an assurance from the association that whatever has been uh, uh, communicated here will be documented and practiced by all of you there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, as an association, we'll take this up. And whatever we have discussed today, I think it is very, very important uh, from the curtain walling and the facade industry to ensure that the right materials are put in the building. And we should put a document together and kind of educate the market. Our Consultants are over here, the facade consultants are here, and uh, you know, we should all get together and specify the right materials to be used. And also force the facade industry to also educate our owners of the buildings, you know, to basically tell them where they are going wrong. And sometimes, look at all the tender documents that are made, at times they are not specifying the right materials. So I think we should all get together and make sure that the right materials are put into the building to avoid these kind of accidents happening. Okay, sir. Thanks for the acceptance, and I believe uh, uh, with this I would like to wrap up. I've run past my time. Uh, I have to thank the panelists for their uh, short discussion. But to conclude, as we said, yes, at least we have taken three topics, and uh, soon I hope to see that we start to implement them and move forward. And uh, sooner or later, you will start to see the association coming in a big way, where they will start to document all this. It's not going to be. Uh, a forum where we discuss and we just have a coffee and say bye bye and go no this is completely documented it will be released soon uh, hopefully within the next one year or so india will have its own best standards and practices which will govern the future generation and i i, I hope uh, we all can work towards it for our future generation I, 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 with this i thank the panelists thanks for your participation thank you all. We would like to facilitate the panelists here. Yes. Please, just stay one minute. Just stay a minute. Who am I? I have to give. I will start from there. Yes. Thanks for much. Just a small token. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. With this, we would break for tea. It's served in the lobby at the right-hand side. And we'll be back in 15 minutes with the next very interesting session.